Hi guys, it's Yvette here with a new layout. This one I have used lots of Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, which is pretty old, had it for a long time, uh, years in fact, and I thought I need to use some of this, so I got it all out and had a play with it. So I've taken some of the tops off because the spray nozzles were blocked and I've got them soaking in water, so I'm going to use it straight out of the bottle. So uh, here's my photo. I love this photo. I'm going to scrap it right now and I'm using some old pattern tissue paper, these cute dots and some washi tape. I've pre-cut a couple of um, little branches, leaves, and I've watercolored them earlier and they're dry now. So they're just put aside for later on. This is um, just a copy of a vintage map and some yellow tape. So here we go. I need to mix the sediment in the bottom of these mists because all the sparkly stuff is down the bottom. So I'm just using a paintbrush to mix those up. And I don't usually like spraying it straight onto the layout anyway, so I'm just going to tip some onto my um, mat and paint it straight on. And there's a little bit of colour on my brush, which has made it go a little bit purple, but that's okay. I'm adding some water there, and I'm just going to um, get a couple of colours going. I've also got some Heidi Swap Colour Shine, and I'm spraying that straight on. I want to get the colour I want at the moment. So then I've got another Glimmer Mist. I've shaken that one up earlier, so I like that colour too. And I'm looking for a little bit more of a grey colour as well. So um, soaking that up with a napkin just so it doesn't go on the edge. I like to try and keep a bit of a white border around the edge. Doesn't always work. Okay, so some more glimmer mist in a darker grey colour, but um, that's not coming out, so we'll just tip it straight onto the board. And this is more of the colour that I was looking for. So I'm using a bit of packaging technique to get more of it on there um, without the brush strokes around the edges. And I get lots of that on and it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I do a few splatters and a little bit more brush strokes just to give it some texture. And I quite like what I've got here so far, but I think I'm going to add another colour. So I think I want to add some pink. So I've got some candy coloured pink and I'm going to add some marshmallow, which is just like a opaque white colour as well. So I'm going to mix those together. It's got lots of sediment in the bottom. Look, I tap it on, it's just not enough. So we've got to go pouring it on. Pour some on. See how this looks. I'm really not sure where I'm going at the moment, so um, I just put a little bit here and there and see if I like the pink on there. I don't want to make purple, so I'm not wanting to mix it too much with the blue, and some of the blue is still a bit wet, so I've got to be careful there. Um, a little bit of drying time would probably be a good idea, but I'm impatient and I just keep on going. So I just keep spraying some water to move that paint around, but then I get the marshmallow spray and just spray that straight on to dull it down because it was a little bit bright. But I'm quite liking the effect that that's given me. And um, I've got a little bit of color still on my board, on my glass mat there. So I'm just adding the embellishments that I've made earlier. I'm just adding a bit more color to those and that will then blend in with the um, with the layout later on. Um, here I can't stand to waste this bit of colour, so I've got the piece of cardboard that I cut the leaves out of earlier, and I'm using that as a stencil just with a baby wipe to use up some of that pink on the side. And it turns out quite nice, actually. Look, I just, not even looking, move my layout of the way and try and clean up my board and I've got lines running everywhere but it 
doesn't matter and it adds to the interest of it later. I've just got those bottles put on there because the paper started buckling because I've got quite a lot of water on it. So I just put those bottles on there to flatten it down a little bit. And then I've decided that I'm going to add some green. Why? I do not know why, but I picked up the green and I thought, it's pretty, let's add some of that. So here we go with some green glimmer mist. These bottles of glimmer mist have been sitting in my stash for years. And while they are well used, there is some left. And I just thought, I need to use those. So here we go. Just a little bit of the packaging technique. And I quite like the green pops on there. So they are going to stay. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit more splattering with this blue, which I quite like. I'm going to go straight out of the bottle with the brush. I was going to pour it, but changed my mind. Not too much is needed anyway. I just want to get a bit more colour on there. And then we're going to go straight into um, where I add this piece of matte paper, which I've just torn a piece off, and I'm going to use some matte medium. Um, it's Liquitex matte medium and uh, it's kind of like Mod Podge and it glues and it's nice to just smooth everything down so I'm just using a brush to pop that on. Um, I really like the vintage colours on that and um, oh, put it on upside down but picked it up and turned it around real quick before it dries so I just smoothing that down with the Mod Podge and I do get a little bit of colour movement with the Glimmer Mist but um, it blends in nicely and I quite like that. Then I'm going to do some stenciling with Distress Oxide inks and a stencil with some leaves. Um, I quite like this technique. Uh, the only thing is I haven't got gesso on my background so things aren't going to move around a lot um, once they're on there, which is fine. Um, I'm happy I this on and um, it's just another interesting layer you know in the background so we'll see how it turns out in a minute I uh, do go in and try and move it around with the water but it doesn't want to move very much so you'll see that in a minute I love these dots so I'm going to just put them on with a sponge but I'll add some water to that so that it's a little bit lighter um, it's really tiny, tiny, tiny little dots and I love the effect of that. Um, I've moved that right around and do quite a lot of that on the layout. So that's just this little bit here. So I'm just finishing up with this dot stencil. I love it so much. It's very, um, it's a very interesting layer onto the layout. And just showing you there a little bit of a close up. I'm not 100% happy with the little leaves that I stenciled on and I try and put a bit of water on those to water them down but they're not moving so we're just going to add a little bit of that um, dressmaking pattern, the vintage dressmaking pattern just torn off in pieces and I'm adding that with the matte medium again so it just dulls down the areas that um, need dulling down or just adds a bit of texture and interest and another layer and I just like it a lot. So I'm going to put another piece over that orange leaf on the right hand side there because uh, I thought that might have been just a bit too bright. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's all bright. I like it and it's all bright. So I'm just popping that last piece of vintage pattern tissue paper down with some matte medium and making sure that all the edges are sealed so it doesn't lift up. And then I did have to give it some drying time so I'm just going to leave it to dry and we're going to prep my photo. So I'm using some of the vintage pattern tissue paper behind that and I just I did rip it mostly but I trimmed it a little bit with the scissors but it's pretty messy um, I unfortunately used glue on the back of my photo which I wish I had have used double-sided tape but I put some foam on the back as well and it seems to flatten down so just getting my photo sorted while that layout dries and um, I'm just going to trim that up with the scissors a little bit because I just had a torn piece 
doesn't really matter it's not straight or anything um, and sticking some foam on the back of that as well for a little bit of dimension I like a little bit of dimension on my layout so there's that and then we're going to add these little bits that I cut out I actually cut them out on my silhouette cameo um, I just hand drew some leaves and wonky things and um, cut them out on my cameo um, and they turned out pretty nice actually and then I used um, watercolour paints um, I, I wanted them really bright um, and then some of them I used some of the glimmer, glimmer mist on them as well so uh, the blue ones are a bit shiny and then I cut my title out on um, the silhouette as well just with a cute font that I got off the internet a freebie and I used distress oxide to ink it so it was a little bit ombre and then I'm using um, the foam adhesive which is sticky on one side to um, cut some little strips and put on the back of all of those um, little leaves and also the title so I can sit them up a little bit higher and um, I quite like the um, the contrast of the title colour and the and the bottom of the layout so the bright on the blues and greens underneath um, so just going to glue that and I haven't put foam on every little bit because some of the font was a bit skinny but just on the thicker parts I've got foam so it sits up off the page and then we're going to add all the leaves and I play around with this for quite some time I like to get them in just the right spot and try different spots and um, it does take me quite a while to um, fuss around with these leaves um, I'm happy with the ones on the left the big pink and purple ones I, I like those there um, but I have to find spots for all the other ones so I'm just going to play around with those for a little while and I cut a little bit out of the video because I was taking so long to do that and I'm still fussing around with the leaves but anyway in the end I get there and um, pop them on with um, foam tape and um, some glue so now I've got most of them stuck down and I'm happy with the positioning of them. Um, I'm just going to finish off these last couple and um, I didn't actually use any pattern paper on here at all but I had some, um, some little um, pieces from uh, Paige Taylor Evans' uh, latest collection, uh, Go the Scenic Route, which is my absolute favourite collection at the moment. Um, and I bought the little 2 by 2 inch um, swatch books and I've got a couple of those on my desk which match perfectly with this layout and I really wanted to put them down. Um, I end up only putting part of one down because I just can't find the right spots for them. I think my um, painted leaves have taken up most of the layout and I don't think that I need too much more. So I end up just um, tearing one of the um, little swatches in half and um, popping it underneath the, uh, the main title and then the other half of it I just tuck in the top under the photo. Um, this is the one that I'm talking about here. I took a long time to decide where I wanted that. I was going to put it up the top and then I was going to staple it up, up right up the top and it ends up going underneath my photo uh, and underneath the, um, the actual title so I'm just going to use the top of it as well I'm still sticking leaves down I must have forgotten to glue that piece in so I'm just securing that and that little adventure bit is going to get stuck straight underneath the um, title and I do put a staple in it but um, you probably see that at the last minute so I'm coming up to the end of my filming but I add the enamel dots and some washi tape and that little green piece to the layout as well so thanks for watching here's a few um, close-ups of my layout um, I hope you enjoyed the 
process of the background. Um, there's the little bit of pink washi tape up the top and I also added some of those enamel dots. And that's it for this layout. I'm pretty happy with it. I love the colours and the brightness and um, I hope you will have a go at making one of these too. Um, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.